Hey, what's going on? It's the Political Brown Kid here. I'm back. And I just did a video on everyone's favorite darling, or should I say America's favorite darling, and that was Oprah Winfrey. Um, not my favorite darling. Never has been. Never will be. Never will be. And I just kind of want to just give you guys a quick little update on it. I just did a, I'm just doing a quick search, so don't beat me up on this. This is a very quick search. So I said, well, you know what? I looked at Tyler Perry Studios. Let me look. I mean, I looked at Oprah Winfrey, Harpo Productions, and I did a little search on who's running her squad. And so I said, well, let me look at Tyler Perry and see what he has going on. And what I see is this. I see that Tyler Perry Studios employs 460 employees. So this, so this is just a top mention. This and this from RocketReach.com once again. So it's saying that the Tyler Perry Studios management team includes Steve Minch, that's M-E-N-S-C-H, and he's the president and general manager of studio operations. Robert Boyd is the chief operating officer, and Will Aru is the senior vice president and pro production and producer. I'm assuming that's senior vice president of production. And produ well, I don't know why it reads like that. Senior SVP and production and producer. Okay. Uh, I don't know why they wrote it like that. But So I said, okay, well, who are these people? So let me just take a look at who Steve Minch is. Steve Minch is the president and general manager. He is a white male. So then I said, well, let me look at Robert Boyd. Because I said, uh-oh, he's starting off and he's following in Oprah Winfrey's footsteps. So then I said, well, let me look at who Robert Boyd is. And Robert Boyd is a black male. Okay. So now we, we at least do, he's doing better than Oprah already. And then there's Will Aru, A-R-E-U. And I hope I'm not messing your name up, Will. And if I am, I do apologize. Um, and Will Aru is, um, like I said before, he's the SVP. And then it says, and production and producer. I don't know why they wrote it like that. But also, too, his brother, Ozzy Aru, and I hope I'm saying your name right too, Ozzy. Again, if I do apologize, that's your you, you and Will are brothers. So apparently, Will and Ozzy both work there. He's the president of Tyler Perry Studios. Will and Ozzy are both Cuban Americans. Now, again, we know that being just like Latinos, Latinos, you are not a race. So get that out your heads. You're not a race. Um, Ozzy, he's ethnic. Now, mind you, I'll say this. Cubans will never claim that they're black. N no Latino person will ever claim that they're black. N very few. Very few. Not unless they are black, black. And it's undeniable. But he is an Afro-Cuban descent. But I don't know if he claims that because, of course, he definitely passes the brown paper bag test. And he passes the cone test. But he is non-white. Let me just put it that way. So, and then, oh, and by the way, too, I, I forgot to mention this. If you go to TylerPerryStudios.com, they have a news blast, or they have a, they have at least, um, I shouldn't say a news blast, but there is, basically, they have a page. You know, one of the um, pages on their um, sites states that Michelle Sneed was named President of Production and Development at Tyler Perry Studios, and she is a black female. So I gave you the numbers for Oprah Winfrey and you saw that Oprah Winfrey was 100% white. Now you can look at Tyler Perry and you can say Tyler Perry at least has a black female there, has a black male there, and has two Afro-Cubans. They won't claim that they're Afro-Cubans, but I'm looking at them. Um, but they're non-white, so I will say that they're non-whites. And then he has, um, I think, what did I say, one or two other white people? Steve mentioned the other person. So you can see at least he's plugging in people. Now, again, I'm going to be honest with you. I would have had my staff, executive staff, as being all black. That's just me personally. Well, it, at least been, it may have just only been one white joke plugged in, but at least he has different or better numbers. And that's just my personal opinion. So I just kind of wanted to put this out there because, um, you know, I, I looked at Oprah and I just wanted to be fair. I've already talked about old um, Russell Simmons. I mean, we always knew Russell Simmons crazy anyway. I cannot respect a man who's a Buddhist 
And but yet he sits up on his couch in the Buddhist position and all he can use and the word, the N word comes out of his mouth 39 times in one sentence, one sentence. Go watch Russell Simmons in the in the N word, ain't an N word. Boy, he fires off the N word more than anybody you'll ever know while he's sipping on some ginseng tea and chanting num yo ho renge kyo. Unbelievable, unbelievable how these Negroes act. He ain't worshiping. He's not connecting with no African roots. You don't see him doing sangria or any other type of African religion. You boy, you Negroes will latch on to anything that's not of a black culture, but that's something different. I can talk about Russell Simmons all day long, but anyway, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to keep this video short. Well, again, this is just my intake on Russell's, I mean, on Tyler Perry and his hiring practices. If you have comments that you want to put in this comment, video definitely please do that it helps us rise up in the algorithm also hit the like and subscribe button that helps out as well subscribe to the channel definitely because i don't know how long i'm gonna keep doing this but at least while i'm here you'll get some content once again this is the political brown kid be well